righty, time for another edition of Science Sunday, of course, joined by Eva Ryle. Good morning. Good morning. We're here at the Connecticut Science Center, mm -hmm. kind of mixing up our, our backdrop in a different location today. Yeah, I thought I'd show you one of our labs. So this is what we call Lab 3. I like it. Yeah. Kind of neat. So while we're in Lab 3, we're going to be talking thermodynamics. Yes, All right. exactly. So, you know, kind of space theme lab here. I thought we'd talk about uh, a little bit of space things. So we're going to talk about a certain kind of generator that's actually used on some deep space probes like Voyager and Cassini to help power um, those probes. Very cool. And so the way it works is actually with a difference in temperature. So we've got water here. Yes. All right. Now um, this water, you might see those ice cubes floating around in there, is um, ice cold. And then this water I just poured out of a kettle, so it's really hot. Okay. And that difference in temperature is actually what we need to generate this power. So um, as since this side is warmer, it actually has more energy. And so we're going to have some movement going along this way of charge molecules, or electrons we often call them, moving through the metal like this. And as those charges move across, that generates electricity. Okay. So what's really cool about this is there's no moving parts in this generator. We're just using that difference in temperature to generate this power. So as the warmer water cools and the cooler water warms, eventually the fan that's being powered would slow down. Exactly. All right. So the nice thing about space, though, space is very cold. And if you have, you know, like a radioactive uh, sample within your probe, that's very warm. Mm -hmm. And so you always have this temperature difference. Nice. Um, so I know not everyone has one of these, but I wanted to show you a way that you can actually make one yourself. Okay. So very easy. All you're going to need is a little bit of copper wire. Okay, which I feel. And then two paper clips. Actually. Easy enough. Yeah, right? Okay. So um, all you're going to do is connect like we have here. Um, I know this looks very high tech. <laughs> Your two paper clips with the copper wire in the middle. And this is actually a generator. Huh? Um, and all we're going to do is we're going to put those two junctions, so where the paper clip meets the copper, into one in the hot, one in the cold. All right. And then, if you wouldn't mind holding hold this, this for me, let's see if we're generating any power. I'm going to hold this on here. And look at that. Oh, yep, yep, yep. Absolutely. Yeah. So really, really small amount. I mean, we're not even getting close to a volt, but it's something. It's something, and yeah, this yeah. is something you can absolutely try at home. Cool, cool. right? Yeah, very neat. <laughs> awesome, awesome, awesome. So you know, you guys are always doing life science here at the Science mm -hmm. Center. You've got a space theme lab. You've yeah. also got dinos, yes. dinosaurs around the world. Well, for today. For today, like we've been, hopefully this is not coming as a surprise to anybody mm -hmm. that this is the final day. I know, yeah, this is the last day you can see uh, dinosaurs. It does have to move on. And this is also actually the last day that you can come and visit the Science Center for free if you're under 18. Okay. Um, so today is the last day, come check us out. And remember, we are closed tomorrow for Labor Day, so come today, not tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> yes, closed tomorrow. And also should point out that there's a, a membership special. You can actually save up to 40%. Yeah, okay. so if you come today, um, you can get a membership while you're here and you can get 40% off that membership, but that ends today. So you can come see dinos today, mm -hmm. and because that's in the traveling exhibit space, as soon as it leaves, something else comes in. That's the whole idea behind the traveling exhibit space. Yeah, we got a really cool one coming next, so Excellent. stay tuned for that. Okay, cool. Ifa, thank you so much, and of course, we'll be here to see you for another edition of Science Sunday next weekend.